We're all attracted to people all the time. What is it that attracts us to others? And what do others find attractive about you? These are some of the questions our team is going to try and answer in this series of videos. With millions of people to choose from, finding that perfect someone shouldn't be that difficult. But the media, social pressures and human nature itself have turned it into a mystery. We're surrounded by manipulated images, celebrity and glossy perfection. We're given rules about dating through books, websites and the press. They all pressure us to conform to an ideal of what is attractive. But what's the truth? It's time for science to tackle the subject. Through a series of experiments, our team are going to piece together some of the clues to this enormously complex phenomenon. And in these videos, they will explore the science of attraction. The lungs, the vocal folds within the larynx and the articulators or mouth generate a noise and make sounds. That's all there is to the human voice. But it creates speech, communication, laughter, crying, screaming and singing. People often create a mental image of a person when they hear their voice making assumptions based on the way that they sound. How does our voice represent us? Does it reflect our personality or can it even affect it? Can the voice itself be attractive? Can another person find someone desirable purely based on the way that they sound? So today, with some help from Shakespeare... They do not love that do not show their love. The team are going to investigate what we can tell from a voice and the impact it has on attraction. But first, here's Cat. Voices can give clues to physical characteristics. Men tend to have deeper voices because they are usually physically bigger and have larger larynxes. These effects are probably hormone driven, but the link isn't that straightforward. The difference between male and female voices is more obvious, but what else do we identify about a person from their voice? Research has shown that listeners can detect people's socioeconomic status, personality and emotional or mental state from their voice. They can also estimate age, height and weight about as accurately from voice clips as they can from photographs. When it comes to attractiveness, science suggests that higher pitched voices in women and deeper pitched voices in men are generally rated the more attractive. Today, we're at a sound recording studio and we've invited a group of guys and a group of girls to take part in this experiment. To keep everything fair, we've been very careful to keep them apart. And now Charlie will explain to them what's going to happen. Hello boys, thanks a lot for coming, I'm Charlie. Hello ladies, thanks for coming along, I'm Charlie. Now what we'd like you to do is read out a lovely bit of Shakespearean prose for us. We're going to record it and then play it to some dashing guys <laughs> who are going to give us their opinions on exactly what they think and play it to some lovely ladies to find out exactly what they think of your voices. To keep the test fair, we recorded both groups reading the same piece of Shakespeare, and now we're going to play the boys' versions to the girls and the girls to the boys. Do not show their love. The course of true love, love never devil. did run smooth. There is no evil angel. The first task will be to rate the attractiveness of each love voice on a scale from love one to devil. five. Will their choices match the signs? Welcome back. Now we've got some female voices for you to listen to. We'd like you to rate them on a scale of one to five based on what you find the most attractive, with five being the best. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar, love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar, Love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar. Love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar. Love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar, love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. What's everyone's favourite? Uh, one. One and four. 
least favourite was five. Five. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two was my least favourite. Two and five were mine. <laughs> <laughs> like, one and four, I'd say, are my favourites. But mm. which one, if we had to pick one out of one and four? It'd be one. one. Gonna have to go over one. Like four, so yeah, yeah one. one as well. They do not love that do not show their love. So, voice number one was a clear winner for the boys, scoring 23 out of 25 points. There is no evil angel but love. And it had one of the highest pitched voices in the group. They do not love that do not show their love. However, voice number four, which came second with 20 points, was actually the highest pitched. With two of the highest pitched voices being voted as favourites, the results back up the science that higher pitched voices in women are generally perceived as being more attractive. Let's go and see what the girls think of the boys. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar, love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar, love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar. Love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar. Love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. They do not love that that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar. Love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. We know how the, le- well, the least popular one is. <laughs> Definitely. It's yeah. the one that we all laughed at. Yeah. 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 I put three as the same. It's on a two and a half. Yeah, oh, I did really? like three. Three was yeah. only yeah. marginally better. What, right. that's four and five? Yeah, four had quite a sexy voice. Yeah. Very yeah. deep. Yeah. Like, four like, had a very movie voice. Right, I don't though. think... No. Voice number five had a nice accent. There was something yeah. subtle. It just didn't do it for me at all. No. Especially if you prefer voice four, then. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Voice four is yeah. so natural. But yeah, yeah. Dreamy. Sexy without trying to be. <laughs> Dreamy. Mm. I didn't just say that. <laughs> <laughs> they do not love that do not show their love. The, the girls found love voice four the most attractive, giving him 22 familiar. points out of 25. Devil. And he no actually had the deepest voice. They do not love... That do not voice number one, love. whose voice was not as deep as our winners, came second, love is with a meagre score of 17 out of 25. We often make assumptions about what a person looks like from just their voice. A study shows that people are able to match a speaker's voice with a photograph over 75% of the time. For our second test, we asked each group to match the voice to the face. So, now that you've had a chance to form a mental image of the person behind the voice, it's time to see if you can match the voice to the actual face. They do not love that do not show their love. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar. Love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. Both the boys and the girls had a second chance to listen to the voices. They do not love that do not show their love. But this time they had the faces on screen and they had to try and match them up. The course of true love never did run smooth. Love is a familiar. Love is a devil. There is no evil angel but love. The girls did quite well. I found it really, every voice, I was just like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. we all got the same for three and four. Yeah. I think we have. Yeah. 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 Occasionally, all getting the same voice to face match. For Mr. C, I had voice three. I also had voice three. Voice three. Same here, I had Mr. C as voice three. And same, Mr. C, voice three. Yeah. 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 That's exactly oh how God, I she's doing really well. But the boys failed miserably and couldn't seem to agree on anything. I think Miss E was a very well spoken one. I, I think, I think, I think Miss, Miss C. A. Yeah, I've got Miss, Miss C or Miss A. You see, I think Miss D is really sort of innocent. <laughs> Not like, like she might be able to put on a little cute voice. Uh, no, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, does. I'm no, just no, sure no. that she's got to be voice five. I'm sorry. I, she, I think Miss B is voice five. Miss oh, B's no, Miss A. Five. I'll put Miss E down for voice five. I got her as voice two. Voice three. Voice four. Voice one. But what does all of this prove? Well, it's time to get a cat. We got nothing like the accuracy we expected. The boys only identified 20% of the girls' voices correctly, while the girls did better with 60%, but still neither hit the 75% expectation. 
The fact that the girls did better is to be expected. Women have to be more attentive to the signals which will identify a good mate as they have more to lose in the mating game. We do see that deeper voices in men and higher pitched voices in women were rated more attractive, which matches our expected results. Having said that, there are always exceptions to the rule. Whether or not your voice fits your image, you speak with confidence or have a strong accent, knowing that your voice can make an impact is a good thing to keep in mind, especially when it comes to dating. So it comes as no surprise that our voice influences how we are perceived by other people. Judgments are based on the way we sound almost as much as our appearance. It would seem the voice literally speaks volumes. To find out more and test out our chat-up line generator, go to scienceofattraction.co.uk.